Hey, what's up? Lifeboat Joe here. Today we are going to discuss the 2012 Adam Sandler comedy film, That's My Boy. Um, this stars Adam Sandler, Andy Samberg, Leighton Meester, Vanilla Ice, James Caan, Milo Ventimiglia. I can never say his name correctly. Milo Venti Ventimiglia. Ventimiglia. Uh, Blake Clark, Megan Fay. Will Forte's in this, Tony Orlando, Nick Swarson's in this, Rachel Drath. Um, a bunch of people are in this film. This is, what, hour, where's my notes? 56? Hour 56 minutes long, came out in 2012. Um, this is a, this is a, <laughs> this is a movie that came out in 2012. So watching it in 2020, eight years after it came out, is super awkward. Because there's certain things in this movie that were funny eight years ago that I cringed at watching now because of political correctedness, because of certain things. The premise of this film is that Adam Sandler's character of Donnie, Donnie Berger, slept with his math teacher when he was 13 years old. And Andy Samberg, grown up, is the love child of that. The math teacher was put away for statutory rape. Uh, Susan Sarandon plays the elder, the older version of, of, uh, what is the character's name? I don't remember. Mrs. Miss something. Um, Andy Samberg plays Han Solo Berger, but he changes his name to Todd Peterson to avoid the embarrassment of his family, right? But, like, we, we, we watch this 13-year-old Donnie, like, nail his teacher on a piano in the auditorium you know, as an assembly's going on, and, like, all the kids cheer him, and, like, it's just, you don't, it's awkward. It's awkward watching this now, because it was so funny back then, but now that, like, we've learned that pedophilia is, is bad, right? We, we know this, but, like, it, it, it's, it's showing the, the, male fantasy when you're 13 like sleeping with the hot teacher like but it's but it's derogatory and it's sexist so like we don't talk about these things now because we condemn these things now right so it's awkward watching this comedy because it's so funny and you just cringe while watching it that premise right but then the on the, on the other side you know todd slash han solo is supposed to be marrying this girl who is caught sleeping with her brother. And again, it was funny in 2012, but like awkward as fuck in 2020 because incest is just a meme of itself, specifically in the South. Um, it's just disturbing and it's, it's, it's creepy. So like, I don't, I don't know, man. It, it's, it's, this is a hard R, let's put it that way. There's sex jokes constantly. There's, you know, jerking off jokes constantly. You know, miming jerking off. There's, you know, drinking and drugs. And, and, and this is far different than our typical Adam Sandler, Adam, Adam Sandler, Andy Samberg kind of film where it's like fart joke this and, you know, blowjob joke that. Like, joking, not like... The actual acts so i don't know it was it it was weird watching it in 2020 and i still like it a lot and that's what i'm kind of torn with because i know i'm not supposed to like this movie anymore but i do like this movie i don't know who has who has thoughts and opinions on this because it's weird the other weird thing is this is 2012 right so the other 2012 adam sandler andy sandberg film is hotel transylvania we're gonna we're gonna watch the next the next two reviews are going to be Hotel Transylvania and Hotel Transylvania 2. Because I already talked about Hotel Transylvania 3 when it came out two years ago. But complete night and day between That's My Boy and Hotel Transylvania when it comes to Adam Sandberg, Andy Sand... <laughs> Adam Sandler, Andy Sandberg movies. I mean, oh, I love Andy Sandberg. I've, I've expressed, you know, how hot he is numerous times in pr past reviews. But, like... I don't know, man, like, it's just awkward watching it now. I feel really weird watching it. Like, who has seen this recently? And do you feel the same way? Or am I just a complete outcast in this particular, you know, scenario of knowing that pedophilia is wrong and incest is wrong? Like, 
I don't know, man. I gotta, I gotta stop talking. I'm rambling too much. All right, on to the next family-friendly film, which re-sparked my love of monsters dancing, Hotel Transylvania. Stay tuned. Mucho mahalo.